everybody, Bear from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So last time around, we went around the villages that we've been kind of hitting in the last few episodes, and we got some work. We hunted down a like a uh, pack of young orcs and collected a pretty hefty sum of gold. I think we got like 900 after we completed that one, and then we delivered a package to Hatland which gave us another about 200 and while we were in Hatland we found out that there were some beasts that were abducting and killing people and so we decided to take on the job of tracking them and we're looking at another hefty sum of gold if we can successfully do that and so we found the beast it was a pack of direwolves and so we were running them down at the end of the last episode and so I finally caught them and here we are with that battle we'll jump right in in just a second but before we do that I want to remind you guys to uh, remember to like the video if you want to see more Battle Brothers and don't forget to subscribe as well so you can follow along with the, the uh, Battle Brothers Let's Play as well as any other Let's Plays that you are enjoying on my channel so with that said let's go ahead and get started here um, let's see you're actually in a pretty good spot there to protect that archer so let's keep you where you are um, let's have you maybe take some shots at these wolves here there we go. If we can deal with them before they get to us, that would be ideal. But I think I'm just going to keep you guys back for now. Uh, and you can club him over the head. Cool. How about one more? Nice. It's kind of interesting. They do have armor. Although it doesn't seem to be quite as effective as, you know, the armor that we're wearing. But they do seem to have, like, some type of armor on. See? There's definitely like an armor bar there. Let's get your shield up and you can start stabbing away at him. Yikes. And they really tear through armor quickly too. That's the scary thing. You really need to rely on your shields with these guys. Cool. Um, let's have you take a stab there as well. No? The major downside to the pikemen is they only really get like one attack per turn. So with anybody else you know you can get your shield up to protect themselves or take two swings but with the uh, pikemen you really only ever get one action no matter what and at least we're chipping away at them 27 I'll take it cool there's one down and why don't you fall in over here okay so he's almost down can you kill him perfect and then hop over there. Are they trying to retreat? Oh yeah, he is trying to retreat. So we got him on the attack of opportunity. He's trying to run too. We're going to kill him. Perfect. So that went really, really well. Nobody dead. Um, I don't think anybody other than Carl even really got wounded. Though Ulfer did a bit too, but not too bad. Um, so yeah, that worked out fairly well. We got four level ups, which is awesome. And we got some pelts that we can sell. Although they're not particularly useful okay let's take care of these level ups and then we'll go collect our pay so let's see Erling the understudy let's get you some resolve and maybe some fatigue and some melee skill and then what perk do we want to give you I think I will give you deflect and then we'll probably go for Sundering Strikes and Colossus after that. Let's see, you need some Resolve as well. Yeah, that works for me. And I'll give you Shield Expert. Okay, Reinold, I'm going to give you... Well, let's do this first. Uh, definitely some Resolve. Yeah, I think that works. He's got a lot of health already. I'm going to give him Sundering Strikes because he's got that axe. I'd love for him to just be able to rip apart people's armor. And then Harold, what do we want to give you? Resolve, definitely. Fatigue. And melee skill, I think is going to be important. I don't really need melee defense for him. Because if we're using him properly, he's never getting attacked, basically. And so I'll give you Sundering Strikes to make you a little bit better against armor. Okay, so we need to return to Hatland, which is way, way off. We'll probably stop off at Dornthal since we're right here and sell those pelts. 
Your employer, Baldwin the Steward, might not believe what happened here without evidence. You order the men to begin taking pelts, trophies, scalps, whatever might show off your victory here. Okay, well, we got plenty of pelts, so should be fine. Okay, is there anything here we might want? We just stopped off here fairly recently, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're fairly cleaned out. Looks like they are. Um, is there anything else I need? We're getting a bit low on ammunition. So maybe I should buy some of that. I think I'll take like two. And let's sell these pelts. Yeah, unfortunately they're not going to give me anywhere near the full value of those, but... It is what it is. And let's see, these are all the same guys, so we'll pass on them. Alright, off we go to Hatland. And we'll see if there's maybe some more work for us down there. I've got a group of raiders here. I am sort of tempted to attack them. The issue is bandit raiders are fairly well armored. Bandit thugs are not all that scary, but the, the raiders can be very scary. And so I think we'll just keep on moving here. Yeah, they don't seem to want to fight anybody, so we'll just keep on going here. If they, if they were a slightly smaller group, I would go after them, but if it looks like there's four raiders, which you know could be fairly threatening. And we're not going to get paid to deal with them anyway, so... Baldwin the steward sitting at his table, legs up over a corner. His eyes are staring at the ceiling, the corners of his face pinched with wizard folds. He looks at you. Welcome back, I've been getting word of your doings, of your battles with the monsters. You nod, looking around for your reward. The man shows you the door. Rambert, a fellow councilman of Hatland, has your payment outside. 760 crowns as we agreed upon, and the people of Hatland fear you, though they may, are blessed all the same by your arrival here. Thank you, mercenary. Cool. And we've got another job here if we decide to take it. Let us maybe... Let's take a look at the marketplace first. But we've been here... Yeah, I was going to say, we've been here very recently, so I don't think there's going to be anything different. Any men that we might want to take? No. You're a fisherman, but you're not very good. Hmm. Sigmar. It's a good name. I'm tempted to turn him into like a peltist or like a javelin man because I do have those javelins. <sighs> let's do it. So let's see, because he's got good range defense. Oh, I can only have 12, got it. In that case, are you... you're terrible, that was a waste of money. Okay, that really sucks. He's actually got good defense, though. Hmm. Well, if somebody dies, we'll tag him in, but until then, yeah, that was kind of a waste. Let's see what this job's all about. When you find Sir Valdemar von Rabenholt, he's sending off a few knights, chasing them out of the door with a few parting curses. The sight of you, however, seems to momentarily settle the man. Sellsword, good to see you. Better than those so-called men. He takes a seat and pours himself a drink. He takes a sip, stares at it, and then downs it all in one go. My loyal bannerman refused to take on the goblins which have camped north of here. They talk of ambushes, poison, all that. His speech is increasingly slurred. Well, <laughs> you know all that, right? And you know what I'm asking next, right? Of course, of course, you do. <laughs> I need to hand I need you to hand me another drink. Ha, kidding. Go kill those goblins, would you? I trust you'll pay me well for this. Um, 290 in advance and another 730 when the job is done. Um, I want more on completion. 250 in advance and another 810 when the job is done. That's about a thousand, sure, I'll take it. Pointy ear hideout, I accept. Goblins don't concern me too much. Um, there they are up there. I'm going to hit Rothenbach first because I want to see if we might be able to get some better gear for ourselves before we fight them. So we definitely have the money to spend, but no, don't don't fight me, please. Okay. The only place I know of to get good armor is all the way back to the east, and um, I think it's what, Sandmark? Yeah, Sandmark. 
So we'll see if we can get lucky here, maybe find some decent gear, but we might have to head back there at the next opportunity we have. Oh, I have to wait. <sighs> I guess let's just go fight them. We'll go take care of it, and then we'll head back to Rothenbach or something. Sigmar comes to you, rubbing the back of his neck and nervously pulling on the front of his shirt. He proposes a plan wherein he goes into town with a handful of goods to peddle around, as he's done so often in the past. Only problem is that he doesn't yet have the goods. He has to buy them from some local in the nearby hinterlands. All he needs to know, all he needs now is a bit of money to get him started and help purchase the goods, a sum of 400 crowns all in all. Naturally, as a partner, you will get a cut of the profits once he's said and done. Huh. Well, he's not fighting for us right now. If we give him 400, we might see some return on that investment. But we might also end up losing 400 crowns. Let's try it. I'm curious to see how this works out. Oh, of course. Sigmar makes off, and you tend to other business for the day. As you step out of your tent hours later, you see a slumped shape in the distance, steadily heading your way. It appears to be the peddler. He carries nothing with him but a frown. As he gets closer, you begin to see the bruises that dot his body. He explains that while he managed to purchase the goods from his source, the actual townspeople weren't particularly warm to his selling tactics. What money was invested has been lost, and Sigmar heads to a tent to nurse his wounds. Great. <sighs> well, learned my lesson. I mean, we had plenty of money, so it was worth trying it, but yeah, I don't think I'll be making any more investments like that again. And he's wounded, but it's not a big deal since he wasn't able to join the party anyways for fights. Okay, here we go. Some ambushers and some skirmishers. Damn. So the thing that concerns me the most here is that they're all ranged characters, and so we're going to eat a lot of uh, missile fire as we approach. Let's see, I need you up over here, I guess. I don't. Oh, he is going to move. Okay. Really? Man, you're like already dead. That sucks. Let's see. Um, that tree is making it difficult to see who's over there. I think I need you to go off in this direction. So we've got to get that archer dealt with. Um, 20%, 30%. 30. I'd prefer to maybe get him. Doesn't seem to be in the cards right now, though. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I need you there. Just keep moving up, I guess. Yeah, go there. Okay, we're just going to advance in like a wall. I'll send two guys after that archer. Hopefully we can take him out. 30% sure. Yeah, I don't think we're going to hit. Fortunately for me, they seem to hit consistently at range like this, but I can't ever seem to hit anything. But I imagine their uh, range skill is a lot higher than mine. Oh, he's netted. That's not good. He's going to run that way. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to chase these guys all down. They're just going to keep fleeing. The one advantage to that, though, is the more that they move, the less that they can shoot. So I guess I'm better off just kind of pursuing. Let's see, that'll trap him in melee, so let's do that. God damn, he's like dead already. Uh, let's see, I need you to go after him, I guess. Hmm. Somebody's got to go after him. Yeah, go for it. He'll be harder to hit on high ground, at least. Okay, I'm going to step you to here, and I want you to hack him if you can. And then if you could move... Let's see. I need 4 AP to fire, so I can only spend 5... Let's do that and then take a quick shot at him. If you would be so kind as to move right there and then stab him. Perfect. 
You're stuck. So I'll just put you here. And we'll keep swinging. I probably should get their shields up at some point, but... For now, I'm more worried about just getting in there and doing some damage. Ah, oh, man. Come on, I need some hits. There it is. He's almost dead. Uh, let's get you right here. Fortunately, you can't really do anything from there. And that'll give me one shot. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to hit. He's going to move. Okay. At least we got him off the high ground. Can you break yourself out? Perfect. He's still very vulnerable there. Yikes. They almost hit him. God, he is really running away. Get your shield up and start stabbing these archers. Come on. Whew. Okay. Nice. He's dead. Please, please, please. Yes. Let's go after this guy. And you protect yourself. Keep attacking. Let's see. What are our chances? 12%? That's not very good, is it? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and move there. We're going to have to start chasing this guy now. Go ahead and move to there. Actually, oh, you don't have enough. Let's get you away from combat. We'll have you close with him. So it means he's no longer an archer, as far as we're concerned. Uh, you're pretty injured as well. Why don't you fall back? Oh, he's bleeding. That's bad. Whew. Dodged a point blank shot there. Okay. Let's get you up here, and then why don't you take a shot at him? You can step in there. Um, why don't you. Hmm. Yeah, impale him. Oh, he almost one shot at him. Wow. Shields up. Let's start swinging. Oh, wow. There's another one shot. You can move to there. I want you to swing around here and we'll get you on him as well. Nice. Cool. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll keep going around this way. It may not even matter. We might kill him before it even becomes an issue, but we're going to try to surround him. And those guys should be safe back there. Oh, he fled, it looks like. So that leaves him and only him. Uh, I'm going to put you... I don't know. Really doesn't matter. We'll just have him wait. Let's go down there and just make sure that guy's gone. Yeah, he is. Cool. That was actually really easy. Um, we didn't lose anybody, but we did take some wounds, some pretty bad ones, on the part of Otmar and Hjalmar. But everybody survived, which is good, and we did get a level up with Ike. And let's see, we've got a Goblin Skewer. That's kind of cool. I think that's basically the equivalent of a spear. Let's take all of that and be on our way. Okay, first things first, let's take care of that level up. Ike, 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 Ike. Um, you definitely need resolve. Some melee defense wouldn't hurt and some fatigue wouldn't hurt either. And then I will give you shield expert. Okay, so these bows, are they any good? Boondock bow, 25 to 40. 
and 65% effective against armor, and that compares to these how? 30 to 50, 60% effective against armor. So this is weaker, but it's better against armor and takes less energy to use. That's interesting. I might keep those, unless they sell for a lot. A notched blade, that's not very good, is it? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that's very good. Oh well. Um, this actually looks pretty solid. Let's compare it to one of our spears. So 25 to 35, 20 and 90 percent. This is 25 to 35, 20 and 70 percent, but it takes less fatigue to use? Hmm. That's tempting. I'll hold on to it and we'll try to put it to use somewhere. And then we've got another jagged pike. And another, uh, skirmisher shield. So that's cool. We'll figure out something to do with all this. Anywho, let's, uh... I guess we'll head back, collect our money. Uh, where did we... I think we were in Hatland, right? Having slain the last of the goblins, you take a peek about their encampment. They seem the merry sort, piles of trinkets and instruments, all of which could double as a weapon. All it would require would be to dip them in the giant pot of poison resting right in the middle of the ruins. You kick it over and tell the men to get ready to head back to Sir Valdemar von Rabenholt, your employer. Okay, let's go do that. And then I think we'll head east. Or maybe we'll head west to Konigswasser. I forget what was there. But we definitely need to spend some of this money and get some better weapons and armor. Armor especially. Okay. So here we are. Sir Valdemar is shucking nuts when you return. He throws the shells on the ground, jawing and gnashing as he speaks. Oh, it's good to see you again. I take it you were successful, yes? You lift a few goblin heads up, each one tethered to a unifying band. They twist and stare at the room and at one another. The man puts up his hand. Please, we are dignified people here. Put that away. You shrug and hand them to Erling, the understudy, who is waiting out in the hall. Sir Valdemar walks around his table and hands you a satchel. 810 crowns, as we agreed upon. Good job, Selsword. Cool. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Um, this strange meat, I don't think, is good to keep around, because I think... Oh, no, wrong way, wrong way. I didn't mean to buy it. I meant to sell it. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the notched blade, too. And let's see, do they have any food? Some smoked ham, huh? It's kind of expensive here, though. I think we'll wait. Yeah, I think we'll wait. What about... Yeah, everything's expensive here, isn't it? Except for the amber shards. Okay, then. Let's just be on our way. Roots and berries. Eh, we'll keep those. They're edible enough. Silverware is actually... Ooh, so we'll get 334. It's worth 300. Yeah, I'll sell it here. That works for me. Wow, almost 3,000, huh? Let's see. There's another job for us. Bertolf the Burgermeister stares out his window watching a group of men loading cargo into a number of wagons. I like that the characters stay consistent from each city, so um, every time we're in Hatland, we're dealing with Bertolf the Burgermeister, whereas uh, when we were in... I forget what the other city was, but we were always dealing with that one knight. So, he needs something delivered to Dornthal. What is he willing to pay me? Hmm. Let's see, I want more on completion. Um, what happens if I just keep saying it? Okay, well, we're not willing to accept that, so let's be on our way. I didn't really want to head back east anyways. I didn't want to go to Dornthal. I wanted to head to uh, Konigswasser. Okay, here we are in Rothenbach. Um, let's check out what they've got here. We were just here, so I imagine not much. Um, they do have some decent gear. We could use that hood. That shield is not a bad idea either. Um, they have some solid armor as well. These are 
the better ones though so I'll take those and then how about some bread that's really expensive actually we probably shouldn't do that the goat cheese is actually fairly inexpensive though and so is the grain so we'll take some more grain and I think that'll do it let's get some of this gear equipped and then I think we'll break off the episode here and come back on our way to Konigswasser in the next episode let's see who needs a hood you need to cover up that dumb haircut so we'll give you one and let's see deep helm I'm gonna give you this shield so we can patch it up plus I don't like having duplicate shields as you guys well know um, let's see actually everybody's in pretty solid armor here except for uh, Sigmar yeah so I probably shouldn't have bothered with this but I guess we'll just give it to him and we can sell these tunics that looks pretty good to me I'm actually gonna get rid of that too and I'll give him I don't know I'll give him that shield and the goblin skewer and then we can sell his dagger and the rest of this stuff so let's see I'll get rid of all those and this and I think I'll sell this boondock bow since it's pretty beat up we'll keep the other one though and that'll do it for today guys so as always thank you so much for watching I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.